Hi everybody, it's Diego from Codex and welcome to the 8th lesson of this Arduino course. Today, we're going to learn about tilt sensors. Can you guess what it is? Yes, that's right. It can detect the orientation. So if you are ready, let's get started. Tilt sensors are switches which have a ball inside. Can you hear it? So what is the function of this ball? When the ball is down, when the tilt sensor is upright, the ball is touching both legs. So the electricity can go through it and the circuit is closed. For example, if this is the switch in a simple LED circuit, the LED would light up. However, when it is tilted, the ball falls down. Now the ball is not touching both legs, so it is not connecting one leg to the other one. And that means the circuit is open. If this is part of a simple LED circuit, the LED wouldn't light up. So let's see how it works on Tinkercad. Here we have the Arduino board and the breadboard. Let's take an LED, a resistor, and a tilt sensor. This sensor is a bit different because it closes the circuit when it is tilted. Unlike the other one I've shown you, that closes the circuit when it is upright. So, as you see, cathode, so this should go to the ground pin. Here we have the anode, resistor. Necessarily it has to go through the tilt sensor that goes to the positive rail and from here to the 5 volts start simulation. As I told you, the LED doesn't work in this case, but when we press on it and we tilt it, the LED lights up. So now let's make this on the physical board. As usual, we have the USB cable, the Arduino board, the breadboard, 220 ohm resistor, LED, tilt sensor, and some jumpy wires. So let's make the circuit. As you see, from the 5 volts pin, we go to the tilt sensor. On the other side of the tilt sensor, we come across the resistor. Then it goes to the anode of the LED, then to the cathode, and finally to the ground pin. So let's connect it. And as I've told you, as the light sensor is upright, both legs are connected to each other, so the circuit is closed, and this works. But if we tilt it, the LED stops working because the circuit is open. What you've seen so far is the simplest use of a tilt sensor, but it can also be used together with a pull-down resistor to send high-low signals that can be used to configure other components of the circuit, as we did with the push button in this lesson. To do so, we have to connect it this way. As you see from one side, we have one cable to a digital pin, another cable via resistor to the 5 volts, and on the other side, one cable to the GND pin. Now we could put here a simple LED circuit going to a digital pin, for example, 6 or 5, and code it so that the LED turns on or turns off, depending on the orientation of the tilt sensor. So now, let's make this on the physical board. Let's go ahead. And now the simple LED circuit. Now let's open a block and let's code it. I've already connected the board and let's add Arduino Uno. This time I'm going to be working on upload mode, so the only event we can use is when Arduino starts up. Let's go to control, 
forever and let's use an if else. In this case, if read digital pin 7, which is the, the tilt sensor, we are going to set digital pin 6, so the LED as high. And if not, we will set it as low. So let's connect it and let's upload the code. As you see, it detects a low signal when the tilt sensor is upright and a high signal when it is tilted. And that's why the LED turns on when it is tilted. If we want it to work the opposite way, we only have to change this. This way, if we upload it, it would light up when the tilt sensor is upright and it will be turned off when the tilt sensor is tilted. And now as we have promised, we're gonna create our anti-theft device. So the only extra component we need is a buzzer. All right, remember in a buzzer, we have an anode and a cathode. The anode is the longer leg. So let's put it here. So the cathode is gonna go to the ground pin and the anode is going to go to digital pin number five. And now let's code it. Let's use the basic program we've made before. Remember that we have found out that when it reads digital pin, okay, when it receives a high signal, that's because the tilt sensor is tilted. So we're going to make our anti-theft device ring and light up when the tilt sensor is tilted. So when someone tries to take this, this is going to sound and light up. So this is correct because this is gonna happen when read digital pin seven. So I insist when the tilt sensor is tilted. So not only we're going to set digital pin six output as high, but also digital pin number five, which is the buzzer. Let's connect it, upload it, and let's see if it works. So as you see, when this is upright, it is silent, but when a thief comes and tries to steal this masterpiece, not only the LED lights up, but also the buzzer sounds. To make it a bit more realistic, we can modify this program this way. Let's try now. All right. So that's all. I hope you guys liked this anti-theft device. Try to make it at home and shock everybody living with you. And see you next time. Bye bye.